boys and girls. Tonight, we're going to talk about keeping a journal. And a journal, another word for a journal might be diary. And we've talked before about uh, making a book about ourselves and something that you can keep until you're big and you can pick it up and look at it. A journal is a little bit different. A journal or a diary um, would be something that you write about all kinds of things in. You might want to um, write about what kind of day you've had or, um, well, let me just show you. Okay, I put, here's my journal. I put this one together and you can see my journal has, I have googly eyes. Ooh, are you trying to look inside my journal? <laughs> Wonder Woman's one of my favorite heroes. So I put this on here, I love rainbows. And so I have some rainbow things, pink unicorns, because I wrote a book about pink unicorns. So, uh, and the word love. So I decorated my journal, but all my journal is, is just regular white paper, computer paper, typing paper. Um, and I folded it and then found some uh, construction paper and did a cover. So a journal doesn't have to be anything fancy. I went ahead and tied mine shut with a ribbon some people lock their journals. I just put my ribbon on it. So let's talk a little bit about, oh, I said this belongs to Gigi. So everybody will know that that is Gigi's journal. I put a bookmark here. Bookmarks are handy so I know where I left off. When you keep a journal, uh, most interesting dreams you could talk about. You could talk about favorite memories. I think that's a neat thing to talk about. Three wishes. If you had three wishes, what would you wish for? Five toys you'd like to have or maybe talk about your favorite toys. I'm going to talk about one of mine that I got for Christmas. Uh, something that really scares you. That's a good thing to put in a journal. A favorite thing to do with your friends or just talk about your friends. Maybe make some notes about, about your friends and what you did today. Um, favorite games. Another kind of journal to keep is a gratitude journal. So you can um, write about things that you're thankful for. And I'm thankful for a lot of things. So you can sort of combine it and, and put, a, put gratitude thoughts inside your journal. And then just your daily journal. Like I said a minute ago, you can talk about what you did today. So I keep a little poetry in my journal. So we'll come back to that. Let me show you some things that I've got in my journal and the things that I have sitting out tie into all of that. So first of all, I had a very good friend that I love and who obviously loves me, send me some fairy pictures. And I just said, I think it would be so cool if fairies really flew around and lived in my garden. And here are some beautiful fairies. And the reason I like that picture so much is because that little girl is sitting there and there's a fairy talking to her. I think that would be so cool. And who's to say it doesn't happen? Here's a little fairy waiting for the butterfly to come out of the chrysalis. I like that one. And I love this one too. She's thinking, sitting there just sort of pondering and thinking about things. And of course, the fairy who dances. And we've talked before about dancing. And I like, I, I'm not a good dancer, but I, I like to try anyway. Sometimes you can date your entries. I try to date mine. Mine are out of order. But I had a doctor's appointment today, and I found out that my ankle is healing well, but I have to wear my boot for a few more weeks. So that makes me just a little bit sad. And journals are places where you can put things that not only make you happy, but that can make you sad. Journals are a sort of friend. I, I consider my journal a friend, a good friend that I can... Um, that I can confide in. So, and I, if you can't, if you're too young still to write or write very much, you can draw, this is my boot. I didn't draw my decorations on it, but that's my boot. And then I got a terrarium for Christmas and I planted a bunch of seeds. And here's my terrarium right here. Uh, black dragon coleus, it had dragon in it, so it has to be cool, right? And I'm excited to see how fast they grow and what they look like. So I drew a picture of my terrarium with my 12 plants, tiny plants that are growing. And that was exciting for me. And then um, another entry, I got some interesting fossils and gems in my advent calendar and they included green agate, amethyst, white urchin, um, white quartz, desert rose, and lots more. And I got some duplicates, which didn't make me very happy, 
but what I got was very pretty. So, put my journal there. Let me just show you some of these. Since I talked about this advent calendar, there's Adventurine, which is green, probably a little hard to see in this light. And there's a fossil. I forget what this one's called, but I thought this was a very cool fossil. Here's a desert rose. You can see it kind of looks like a rose. Has the markings of a rose. And pyrite, which they call fool's gold. It isn't really gold, but it sparkles like gold. And all kinds of other fossils and gems in there. So let me read a poem about journaling. This is called My Own Journal. I made a book all by myself. It was easy to decide I'd use it for a journal and keep my thoughts inside. Because my journal is my own, I have all the control. I decorate it how I want and I decide the goal. Sometimes I note my favorite things or what I did today. I write about what scares me or things I'd like to say. Sometimes in place of writing, I just draw my thoughts instead. I either write soon after school or before I go to bed. It makes me feel so good that I have somewhere I can go to write my feelings how I choose and let my thoughts just flow. So I can put whatever I want in my journal. I have all the control and it's my book to use the way I want to. One entry I did not read was about um, Eric Carl books. And I don't know if you're an Eric Carl fan. I am. Um, and one of my favorite books in Cooper's was The Very Hungry Caterpillar. And you can see the caterpillar down there and the book. And this is Brown Bear. I love Brown Bear. Brown Bear, Brown Bear, what do you see? And Polar Bear, Polar Bear, Polar Bear, what do you hear? So if you have um, not checked into Eric Carle books, I would encourage you to do that. They're really fun to read. And uh, sometimes you can get the animals that go with them. I like stuffed animals. And just before I go, I wanted to show you this. I got this in my stocking, my very first pop-up toy or pop -um. And I sit here when I don't have anything else to do. And maybe while I'm thinking what to write in my journal and I just use my pop-up toy. So I hope you had a wonderful day and I hope you have an even better tomorrow and one, four, three, and I will see you soon. Keep a journal. Bye-bye.